just a little bit backwards, but I wanted to show um, where all the things that we need to do when it's already out, because it's a little easier to see in this state than it is when it's actually underneath there and all tangled with everything else. There's basically five or six, depending which way you look at it, things that need to be done. They're all fairly simple. The first two is that these particular standoffs have these pins that go through them that are attached to the bottom. This is actually what is the does the lift mechanism on it. So each of these have to come out with a little uh, collet pin, I believe. Maybe, maybe it's called that. Very simple. Next, there is this on the front that is attached to here that these then are attached to the front of the tractor also with pins through here. So one, two, three, four pins that have to come out. And then this part right here, well, this whole thing is the belt mechanism which runs the blades. And this part is part of another pulley that's attached to the motor. So this runs, these all go, the blades turn. Now this is under tension normally because of this. The instructions, the user manual says to use a 3 8 inch ratchet. And honestly, I have no idea what they're talking about. I don't even know how you would use a ratchet in there unless they mean something else. So what I actually use is just some linesman pliers. Grab onto right here. And then when you go and pull this, that moves that that puts some slack in all of this and this can come off the pulley. And that's it. After those steps, um, you can just pull it out. This really only takes a couple minutes and it's uh, very simple to do. Okay, step one, we need to actually put the leveling gauge down to the lowest setting, which is zero, one past one. Then we it's in the raised position right now. We want to lower it all the way down. So push it down, unlock, lower it all the way to the ground. And it should be on the ground now. First pin that needs to come out is this one right here. Um, one of the two posts in the back for the lift, lift mechanism. Basically pull it up and then back up. And then that pops right up. Do the same with the other side. Next up is this. Basically, it's uh, the tensions right now with that. Um, opening these actually loosened it a little bit, but still not enough to bring it out. So, reach in there, grab the end of that, pull it, and then pull that off. Simple. Almost done. This is basically attached with two pins here, and I'll admit I cheated these already off because this is the second time I did it. So you'd pull those pins off exactly the same way as you did back there. And pull this in, lift it off. Then with all those done, we want to bring these up so they're not in the way anymore. There we go. And with those out of the way, this is clear. And it pulls right out. Simple.